Oracle JavaScript Extension Toolkit, or JET, is targeted at JavaScript developers working on web and mobile applications. JET is a collection of open source JavaScript technologies, along with a library of Oracle contributed JavaScript components that help you when you are creating applications aimed at consuming and interacting with cloud services, such as those provided by the Oracle Cloud. Built into JET are a range of components and best practices, including the single page application architecture, two way data binding, responsive design, modularity, localization, and accessibility, which are especially useful for developers working on large enterprise applications that need to leverage new techniques that modern innovations in JavaScript, HTML5, and CSS3 make possible. Providing a toolkit instead of a framework is intentional. JET is designed to allow developers to use as little or as much of the toolkits as they need for their specific applications. Everything you need to know about JET is described at oraclejet.org. In this screencast, you're going to learn how to create the application that you're seeing right now. We will make use of a template that helps structure your work with JET, and we will learn how to reuse code provided by the online JET cookbook. Let's go to oraclejet.org and see how the Getting Started page shows us how to set everything up. We follow the steps outlined here, we now have a project structure that includes the libraries and a set of file templates organized so that you can get started doing your work quickly. JavaScript and HTML files are cleanly separated from each other in the project structure. Popular libraries making up JET, such as jQuery, Knockout and Require, are made available by the template and can be browsed directly in the project structure. The JET components can be browsed and explored in the project structure as well. Notice also that a default set of CSS style sheets, in particular the Oracle LTUI style sheets, are provided. In short, the JET template gives you a thorough starting point for creating cleanly architected user interfaces for web and mobile applications. Without doing any coding, let's run the application. The application is deployed to the browser, the browser starts up, and we see that the template gives us a menu bar for switching between views. The template sets up our application with responsive design so that it automatically restructures itself depending on the current device size. Let's now start using some of the JET components. In the JET cookbook, we copy the HTML snippet relating to the select component, we open one of our HTML templates and we paste the snippet into it. Next we look in the JET cookbook again to see the business logic we need to work with the JET select component. From the Knockout framework, two-way data binding is used to define an observable that is referenced in the HTML we used. Also, JET is a modular toolkit that only loads the components you need in order to be lightweight and performant. By default, we were not using the JET Select component in the template. We now need to explicitly include a reference to the JET Select component to load it into the application. Notice how easy it was to put a drop-down list together with the tools, template and the components provided by JET. The select component includes built-in filtering, as you can see here. Next, let's add some data visualization to our application. Again in the cookbook, there is a data visualization section. Here is a bar chart and again, the cookbook provides an HTML and a JavaScript snippet. Because JET is a modular framework, in the same way as we had to explicitly include the select component previously, we now need to include a reference to the chart component explicitly as well. It's really impressive how quickly and easily we've been able to put the data visualization together. Finally, we need to connect it to the select component. Without that, the drop-down list and the chart component will not interact with each other. Once you have done this, when we choose a different chart from the drop-down list, we see a different chart displayed in the visual component in the main part of the application. If you want to do mobile development, JET makes use of Cordova. Via Cordova, you can provide native artifacts, such as an APK file for Android, an IPA file for iOS, and a comparable file for Windows 10 UWP phones. These can be made available via app stores. Via Cordova, developers have access to services on devices, such as the camera 
and the contacts list, while typical gestures applicable to mobile devices, such as swiping and paging, are supported by JET 2. JET provides native theming support for iOS, Android and Windows 10, enabling you to create mobile apps in JavaScript with native look and feels. Note that the same code is used for web and for mobile, with the theming features changing components to look like native apps, rather than having you use completely different components for mobile and for web. When you're creating enterprise applications, you typically have business requirements, such as internationalization and accessibility. JET supports the related standards and techniques. All JET components meet accessibility guidelines, WCAG 2.0, for both desktop and mobile. And the JET components have been translated into 28 different languages and over 190 locales. For example, look at this demo where you can see a daytime picker. When we select a different language, notice how the tooltips on the component change from one language to another. That's not something a user of JET needs to provide, since JET comes with a set of translation bundles. Also notice that JET comes with RTL support, providing support for right-to-left languages such as Arabic and Hebrew. JET supports the W3C Web Component Standard. Specifically, with JET, you can create reusable widgets based on the W3C Web Component Standard. Oracle Cloud Services have a common extensibility approach based on JET. For example, let's take a look at the Visual Builder Cloud Service. Here you can see how a component we created in JET can be imported so that the developer can drag and drop it into the canvas. To see what enterprises around the world are doing with JET, see the success stories page on oraclejet.org. If you're working in an organization where JET is used in production, let us know so that we can help promote your organization's JET experience and related skills. Many resources are provided for free to help you get started with JET. Browse the Learn section on oraclejet.org for tutorials, as well as an online training course, a MOOC, together with a cookbook, and a full developer's guide. JET is an open source project used and maintained by Oracle. We provide support for JET by supporting and building a vibrant JET community. The JET team helps support the community through many common forums, such as Stack Overflow. The Oracle JavaScript Extension Toolkit is targeted at JavaScript developers working on web and mobile applications. It provides a collection of open source JavaScript libraries, along with a set of Oracle contributed JavaScript components that, as you have seen in the screencast, help you when you are creating applications aimed at consuming and interacting with cloud services, such as those provided by the Oracle Cloud.